Yo, what's up, guys? Hope you're having a good day today. Um, so we're gonna be talking about diet today, the second essential component for building a muscular it's body, boring. or just being healthy, to be honest. So, hope you enjoy the video, and yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, so before we start the topic of diet, we have to first know what it means. So a diet is basically the types of food you consume and how much of that food you consume on a regular basis, habitually speaking. So now that we know what a diet is, we must know what it consists of. So a diet basically consists of three components. The macronutrients, which are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. The micronutrients, which are vitamins, minerals, and water, or water and fiber or fiber fats basically help your body absorb fat soluble vitamins which are vitamin a vitamin d and vitamin e and they support cell growth they're also the most calorie dense macronutrient so they're very essential in your diet carbohydrates next they provide your body with energy it's very important especially if you're working out because it helps fuel your workouts and make you just give you more energy throughout the day and last but not least, definitely the most important macronutrient for building muscle is protein. So protein is made up of these these things called amino acids. So yeah, protein contains amino acids and amino acids are essential for muscle growth and repair. Okay, so there's definitely an importance to micronutrients like um, minerals for improving muscle growth. Like for example, magnesium, it controls stress hormones in your body and having low stress levels are very important for building muscle as well but the main thing is really the macronutrients specifically protein so yeah we ain't getting to that but focus mainly on macronutrients for building muscle what are calories exactly so calories are basically the amount of energy that your body receives from food or drinks that's really it um calories are essential for all bodily functions including muscle growth and repair so if you want to build muscle you need to eat a certain amount of calories so your body burns calories throughout the day basically in everything you do even when you rest like sleep your body burns calories and the total amount of calories that your body burns throughout the day is called your maintenance calories so your maintenance calories is basically the amount of calories you can eat and still maintain your weight so you calculate this by using online calorie calculators i can put some in the description and i can have some on the video playing so calories is really a basic calculus to be honest nothing too complicated it's really calories in calories out um if you eat more calories than you burn you will gain weight and if you burn more calories than you eat you will lose weight a calorie surplus is when you consume more calories than you burn and a calorie deficit is when you burn more calories than you consume so if you like just starting out working out and you want to build muscle optimally you need to bulk you need to bulk there's no way around bulking if you want to gain size, you have to bulk. Bulking is basically when you eat in a calorie surplus to build muscle and you prioritize stuff like protein and healthy fats because fats are the most calorie dense macronutrient. The goal with bulking is just to gain muscle, pretty much that's it, and minimize fat gain. So like I said before, the goal is to minimize fat gain while also building muscle. So there's two types of bulks, a dirty bulk and a clean bulk. A clean bulk is when you eat food in a surplus, but not so high, like maybe 200, 300 calories max. And your diet consists of relatively healthy food. So foods that are not so high in calories, like maybe stuff like salmon, you know, healthy fats, like almonds, but even though almonds high in calories, but like healthy fats like almonds, peanut butter, stuff like that, you know, fruits, rice, you know, stuff like that, just healthy foods, lean meats, stuff like that. A dirty bulk now 
is when you have a surplus year but it's way over 300 probably like you know 500 to a thousand plus um near like margin of surpluses right and this diet consists mainly of like just like way high calorie foods so foods high in saturated fats like pizzas burgers fries just junk food like ice cream stuff like that those things that's high in calories so just eating anything that you get your hands on you know attempt to gain size that's what dirty bulking is so what i would recommend to you as an average guy just trying to build muscle i would recommend a lean bulk but at the same time do restrict yourself from like burgers and pizza and stuff like that like if you need up to get a pizza or some ice cream to add to your protein shake to make it more calorie dense then do it by any means but have some sense of control within your diet don't restrict yourself but at the same time do go overboard one more thing about calories all calories are not the same some people would be like oh like it don't matter what food i eat once i hit my calorie intake and my macros that is so wrong that is not true at all because obviously eating a thousand calories in donuts versus eating a thousand calories in fruits is not going to affect your body in the exact same way just because of calories it's obviously stuff like sugar and i guess fat intake stuff like that that play like critical roles to your health for example too many saturated fats could lead to heart disease and too much sugar could lead to like um stuff like diabetes and cancer so don't just think that calories are just calories calories are not calories all calories are not the same so like i said don't restrict yourself but be mindful of what kind of calories you you are consuming and be mindful of the way they affect your body okay just a quick recap if you want to gain size you want to build muscle optimally and minimize fat you need to lean bulk i recommend a 300 to 400 calorie surplus for optimal gains your diet should consist of healthy whole foods that's mainly high in protein and high in healthy fats but if you need some junk food here and there to eat more calories then don't restrict yourself but at the same time have some balance and control over your diet come, come. eat three to four meals a day you could space out your meals so instead of eating like three big meals you could eat like six small meals throughout the day to make it easier for you to get the food in um eat eat more snacks add stuff like protein shakes you should be good just work at your own pace if you're having trouble eating that much food which is understandable um i would recommend trying liquid calories so stuff like high calorie protein shakes i'm gonna make some videos in the future on how to make some of those shakes but high calorie liquid shakes um prioritize stuff like peanut butter almond just anything with nuts pause but yeah just understand that as you work out more your appetite will grow so eating more food will be easier so just keep working out and as you grow as you get stronger your appetite will improve okay so how much protein should you eat to be honest dude i do, I do not track my food or track my macronutrients but aim for at least over 100 grams of protein a day so yeah like just eat a lot of meat and like i said i way to get con convenient protein and just use protein powder or just drink protein shakes so yeah 100 grams of protein um once you got a lot of protein then you don't really need to like worry about everything else so just focus on getting 100 grams of protein and you're gonna be straight so basically the way to be successful with bulking and any diet to be honest is focus on implementing foods not removing foods the more you try to remove stuff from yourself and restrict yourself the more you're going to crave and crave and crave so just focus on adding healthier foods 
And as you add healthier foods, you're going to naturally stop eating as much unhealthy foods. Okay, so we talked about bulking. Now it's time to talk about cutting. So cutting is basically when you're eating a calorie deficit to lose body fat. So me personally, I don't feel like teens should really be focusing on cutting. You should, like I said, be bulking because during your teenage years is the point where you're going to grow the most and you're going through puberty, right? So your body needs those nutrients and depriving yourself of those nutrients can lead to serious consequences in the long run. So my advice is to bulk, like I said before, and the only reason you should cut as a teen is if you are way too fat and you just at a level where you are obese. Okay, so a little extra thing I want to talk about is alcohol. Um, alcohol is detrimental to muscle growth. Obviously, like everything in moderation, but it has been shown to reduce muscle protein synthesis, which is basically like your body's process of turning protein into muscle. So drinking too much alcohol is detrimental to muscle growth so you know limit the alcohol you could drink i guess is it, like is your life do what you want do have fun like but you know drink responsibly and understand that drinking too much could really kill your progress all right thank you guys for watching that's pretty much all i have to say about diet for now i appreciate the love appreciate the support um i have more videos coming out soon so stay tuned um, once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.